Okay, we have some time left today, so I want to work with you on some topics that are highly descriptive and reasonably challenging. We have Euler paths and Euler circuits, and then we have Hamiltonian paths, and we have Hamiltonian cycles. Euler circuits, Euler trails visit each edge exactly once. Hamiltonian paths, Hamiltonian cycles visit each vertex exactly once. Euler trails and Euler circuits are trivial. If you're given a graph, determining whether or not it has an Euler trail or an Euler circuit is trivial. You can implement it very quickly. And if the answer is yes, you can produce it. And if the answer is no, you can convince the doubting skeptic by producing the explanation why you can't find it and neither can anybody else. So back to this question that I want you to keep thinking about. If someone says, do something, then you've got to either do it or explain why you can't do it and no can, neither can anybody else. That, that, then you're in the winning position. What you're trying to stay away from this is if you can't do it, it's just throwing up your hands and say, I don't know how. I tried. I couldn't find it. So we, we want to stay away from those situations if we can. All right. So is it clear what the notion of Hamiltonian paths and Hamiltonian cycles are in contrast to Euler trails and Euler circuits? So although I'm not explaining this to you at the moment, these problems are hard. The first problems are easy. So if I were to give you a graph with 25 vertices on it and then say, tell me whether or not there's a Hamiltonian cycle, there would be quite a bit of luck involved as to whether or not you could answer that. Human breakpoint is, for students in 3012, is 10, 11, 12, 13 vertices in there. So if you look at tests on the archive, you'll see lots of test questions that involve a graph of about <laughs> this size. And I'll start with a question. Is there a Hamiltonian cycle? that starts with vertex A, visits all vertices exactly one, and winds up at a neighbor of A. Look at that picture and answer that question. And I, I, most everybody has convinced themselves that the answer is yes. No, not everybody. Okay, it's always dangerous, but let's try it. I'm going to win. I usually lose. Yay. Okay. And so on many of the tests, I'll have labels on these, and I'll ask you, uh, provide a Hamiltonian cycle by listing the vertices in the order that you would visit them. If it's a hard one, I might even give you the first three moves so to kind of get you started in the right direction. So I, I encourage you to look over the test archive and look at problems in this category.
to see the kinds of things that you would be asked to do. These questions are intended only to determine, do you really understand the concept of a Hamiltonian cycle or a Hamiltonian path? You're not really following an algorithm. I, I really wasn't. I, that, that was human backtracking. That's, that's what I was really doing. I, I just did stuff. And the, the numbers were sufficiently small that I got lucky and found one. But if the answer was no, you might have a hard time explaining in 10 minutes why it's no. <laughs>